If you have brick walls, you may want to install something to it. Maybe you want to mount a picture or a shelf, or in my case, mounting a piece of wood to a brick wall. Today I'm going to show you how. It's important to remember to have lots of personal protective gear. You're going to need eye protection, uh, you're going to need a dust mask, there's going to be a lot of dust, and hearing protection because you're going to be using a hammer drill. I don't recommend a regular drill. You're going to use a hammer drill. It's very loud and brick is extremely dense. So you're going to be drilling. It's going to take a lot longer to drill through brick than with something like a cinder block wall, as in my other video on how to put a TV on a wall with tap cons. Speaking of tap cons, I'm going to be using quarter inch tap cons just long enough to get in the brick at least an inch and a half in bed mint. Uh, for my purposes, if you're just putting up a picture or something, you can just drill and screw in the tab cons. You also want to make sure not to drill in the mortar, because the mortar is a little weaker. You may as well attach whatever you're attaching to the strongest part of the wall, which would be the brick, and not right alongside the, the edge of the brick. It's extremely important to take steps not to strip the hole, which means that you're going to want to hold your drill, you're going to want to hold your drill square to the surface, Make sure you're not moving it all around and making a hole that's too large and there won't be enough material for the screw threads to grab onto. You're going to want to drill a hole that's deeper or longer than the screw. As you're screwing it in, these threads are going to actually cut into the concrete or the brick in this case and it's going to create debris and dust and it's going to have nowhere to go so it'll be pushed to the back of the hole. But before you even screw install your screw you're going to want to blow out the dust or clean it out with a brush or a pipe cleaner or something to get all the dust out. One method is to try as you're drilling to move out move in and out the drill bit as you're drilling to let a lot of that dust come out. In my case I'm going to drill holes through the wood. You don't want the threads to thread into the wood. It's actually only going to be held on by the head of the screw. So you want to drill a hole that's larger than the screws of the, the threads of the screw. So you can put the screws in through the hole and then you'll drive the screw through the hole in the brick. Once it's tight, do not over tighten. If you over tighten it, you could strip the hole and then the hole will be useless. If you do strip the hole, you can try to use a plastic anchor. In this case, it's a 3 16th hole because I used a 3 16th bit for the quarter inch tap cons and then you can use a regular screw through that plastic anchor if you strip the hole but you don't want to strip the hole. If you're putting up something like wood you're going to want to put up several of these tap cons at least one for every 12 inches or so. Uh, the more the merrier especially if it's holding up a heavy weight such as a ledger of a, uh, of a deck or something like that. As you're drilling you want to start out with the regular drill setting on a slow speed just to make an indentation so that the bit doesn't wander all over the place when you start the hammer drill. Once you have the indentation then you can remove the pe whatever piece you put up that you marked. Uh, in my case the piece of wood. You can remove that piece of wood and then you'll see the indentation so then you can drill your holes. And then you'll set it to hammer and drill it. Make sure to clear the debris every now and then. And make sure to slow down. Uh, these these bits can get pretty hot. Once you clear out the debris and the dust, then you can do the same for as many holes as you're going to drill. And then you put it up and then you can use a, I don't recommend an impact driver. You just want to use a regular driver or a socket wrench to install the tap cons. Some of these tap cons have a, a number three Phillips. Some of them have a star bit. It depends on whatever uh, fastener you're using. In my case, I use a 5 16th nut driver bit and I drive the screws in. And then once it gets tight, then let go immediately. You don't want to over tighten. Once it's tight to the brick, it's good, it's tight. You don't want to over tighten these or else it'll strip the hole. So there you have it. If you take these steps, uh, always use precaution, personal protective gear. Hopefully if you use these steps uh, properly, you can have your, whatever you're installing fastened to your brick wall and hopefully it's nice and tight and stays up. If you want to put up a TV on a brick wall you can use these same tips or you can also use my watch my video on attaching a TV with tap cons and subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching.